Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang nature of roots of quadratic equations. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. So far ay meron na akong video about solving quadratic equations in different methods like factoring, completing the squares, at, at using quadratic formula. So ngayon ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo kung ano ba yung maaaring maging katangian or nature ng roots of a quadratic equation by just merely looking at a term called its discriminant. Okay, so if we use the quadratic formula to solve the quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, and denote the roots by r sub 1 and r sub 2, we see that r sub 1 is equal to negative b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, and r sub 2 is equal to negative b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So, ito nga yung na-derive nating formula for quadratic formula, right? From this, we can conclude that in general, a quadratic equation has two solutions called roots of the quadratic equations. So, tinatawag din na roots yung solution doon sa quadratic equations at meron tayong dalawa. Kasi nga, second degree yung quadratic equations, yung highest exponent ng x ay 2. So, meron din tayong dalawang solutions. The roots of a quadratic equation can be rational, irrational, real, and imaginary numbers. So, ito ito yung mga pwedeng maging nature ng roots ng quadratic equation. Pwedeng rational, irrational, real, at imaginary. Pero, paano ba natin malalaman kung ang roots ba ng quadratic equation ay rational, irrational, real, and imaginary numbers? Okay, so, meron ako ditong ginawang table and meron akong specific equation. So, 7 quadratic equations. And then, inobserve ko yung value ng b squared minus 4ac. So, sinabsitute ko lahat ng values, for, for example, dito sa equation 1. Yung value ng a is 1, yung value ng b is 4, and yung value ng c is negative 1. Sinabsitute ko dito sa b squared minus 4ac, ang nakuha ko ay 100. At ang roots na nakuha natin, kapag sinob natin ito in any method, ay 3 tsaka negative 7. So, kinompare ko yung b squared minus er 4ac ng bawat equation doon sa magiging roots niya. So, dito sa una, 100, tapos yung roots niya ay 3 tsaka negative 7. Tapos, sa pangalawa, 81, yung roots niya ay 6 tsaka negative 3. Tapos, yung pangatlo ay 5, yung roots niya is negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, and negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Pang-apat, 0. Tsaka yung pang lima, 0 din. Yung roots nila is parang negative 2, negative 2, at 1, 1. Then yung pang 6, negative 3. Yung roots niya ay negative 1 plus square root of 3i over 2. Negative 1 minus square root of 3i over 2. So may imaginary number. And then, dito sa pang 7, 0 pa rin yung b squared minus 4ac. Tapos yung roots niya ay parehong negative 1 and negative 1. Okay, so mapapansin nyo, dito muna tayo sa mga 0. So, kapag 0, yung value ng discriminant, ang roots ng quadratic equation ay iisa lang, which is pareho. So, tulad nito, negative 2 yung roots niya, 1 yung roots niya, tsaka negative 1 yung roots niya. And then, dito naman sa negative yung value ng b squared minus 4ac. So, kapag negative, napansin nyo, nagkaroon kayo ng imaginary number. Actually, conjugate sila. Plus minus yung imaginary number. Kasi nga, itong b squared minus 4ac, di ba, under siya ng square root, nasa loob siya ng square root. So, kapag naging negative yung radikan o yung b squared minus 4ac, automatic, hindi real itong part na to. So, kaya nagkaroon tayo ng imaginary number. Tapos, ito naman sa b squared minus 4ac na positive lang, or perfect square actually eh, 100 tsaka 81. Yung mapapansin nyo, yung roots nila ay magkaiba at eksakto. Wala kang uh, radical symbol. Right? And then kapag 5, positive, pero positive pero hindi perfect square. So, ang naging roots niya ay nagkaroon ng, ima, uh, nagkaroon ng radical. Meaning, 
irrational siya kasi may radical tayo. Dito sa first two, rational siya kasi perfect square siya. Okay, so ito yung mga observations natin kapag kapag tinabulate natin yung b squared minus 4ac nung at roots nung bawat equations na to, 1 to 7. Okay? So, an examination of the roots r sub 1 and r sub 2 will show that the nature of the roots as a rational or irrational, as real or imaginary can be decided by the value of b squared minus 4ac which is called the discriminant of the equation ax plus bx plus c equals 0. So, yung tawag doon sa kinumpute natin sa table sa taas na b squared minus 4ac ay yung discriminant nga. At somewhat or actually related siya doon sa magiging nature ng roots ng quadratic equation which is proven. Okay? So, ito yung mga observations natin which is nasabi ko na if b squared minus 4ac is positive as in equation 1, 2, and 3, the equation will have two real and different roots. Okay, so kapag positive, automatic, magkakaroon ka ng dalawang real solution at magkaiba. Tapos may, mayroon pang subcategory na A, if perfect square, rational. So tulad ng uh, equations 1 at 2, dahil perfect square yung b squared minus 4 is nila 100 at 81, 2 rational and equal real roots yung naging a solution dun sa quadratic equations. Kapag that perfect square naman, irrational. Kasi nga yung uh, example 3, yung b squared minus 4 ac natin is 5. Pag squared mo yun, hindi yun exact. Therefore, yung naging roots ng equation is 2 rational unequal real roots. Okay? Next, if b squared minus 4 ac is equal to 0 as in equation 4, 5, 7, the equation has only one value or it has equal roots. So, proven din dun sa table ko sa taas dahil 0 yung b squared minus 4 ac. Yung example 4, 5, and 7, isa lang yung roots nila. Dalawa man, pero equal sila. So, equal lang yung roots nila or pwede natin i-consider as a single root lang. Okay? 3. If b squared minus 4 ac is negative, as in equation 6, the equation has no real value or the roots are imaginary. So, since nga nasa loob ng radical symbol yung b squared minus 4ac with specific index na 2, which is a square root, di ba hindi dapat maging negative yung radical? Kasi undefined yun. Basa dun sa video ko about complex number. So, therefore, kapag negative yung b squared minus 4ac, imaginary yung magiging roots nung nagiging nature ng roots ng quadratic equation. Magkakaroon ka ng letter I. Imaginary I. Okay? So, as a summary ulit, to summarize the equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where the coefficients a, b, and c are real numbers. 1. Has two distinct real and unequal roots if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. So, so kapag positive or greater than 0 b squared minus 4ac, 2 an equal or distinct real roots at rational kung yung b squared minus 4ac is a perfect square irrational naman if b squared minus 4ac is not a perfect square 2 has real and equal roots if b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0 so kung equal sa 0 ang nature ng roots ay real at equal okay 3 has imaginary and an equal roots or non real complex conjugate of each other if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. So, kapag negative or less than 0 yung b squared minus 4ac, ang nature ng roots is imaginary, unequal, at conjugate of each other. Magkakaroon ka ng a plus minus b i form. So, same sila ng value ng a at b, ang magkaiba lang ay yung sign ng imaginary part. Okay? So, para ma-illustrate yung formula ng discriminants para sa nature of roots of quadratic equations, Let's solve some examples. So, find the nature of roots of the following quadratic equations. A. x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0. B. 4x squared plus 3x plus 3 equals 0. And C. 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 equals 0. So, dun muna tayo sa A. A is x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. So, determine natin ulit yung mga values no? A, B, at C. So, A natin dito is imaginary 1 b is 7 and c is 12. So, substitute natin dun sa discriminant na b squared minus 4 ac. So, we have b is 7. So, 7 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 12. So, we have 7 squared is 49 minus 
4 times 1 times 12 is 48. So we have 49 minus 48 is 1. So therefore, yung b squared minus 4 ac natin is 1. And according doon sa rule natin, kapag positive at perfect square, which is itong 1 nga, ay positive at perfect square, ang magiging nature ng roots natin is real unequal at rational. Okay? Kasi square root ng 1 is 1. Okay? Next, B, 4x squared plus 3x plus 3 equal 0. So, ang A natin is 4, ang B natin is 3, ang C natin is 3. So, B squared minus 4 is e ulit, discriminant, substitute the values. B squared is 3 squared minus 4 times A is 4 times C is 3. So, we have P squared is 9 minus 4 times 4 is 16 times 3 is 48. So, therefore, we have 9 minus 48 is negative 39, which is a negative number. So, kapag negative, automatically... The roots is imaginary and unequal. Or complex conjugate sila of each other. Okay? Next, C. 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 is equal to 0. So, list down uli natin yung A, which is 4. B, which is 12. C, which is 9. Then, b squared minus 4ac, substitute, b is 12, so b squared is 12 squared minus 4, times a is 4, times c is 9. So, we have 12 squared is what? 144 minus 4 times 4 times 9, 144. So, para sila, 144 minus 144 is 0. So, kapag 0, ang ibig sabihin nun, ang magiging roots natin is real and equal or isa lang yung magiging roots nila okay next we have find the values of q that will make the roots of the equation 9x squared minus 4qx plus 4 is equal to 0 equal okay so word problem at applications to nung uh, discriminant for the nature of roots of quadratic equation so sabi ano raw yung values ng q na magpapa equal doon sa roots nung quadratic equation na to yung 9x squared minus 4qx plus 4 is equal to 0 so gagamitin pa rin natin dito yung formula na b squared minus 4ac yun nga lang dapat naka-equate siya sa 0 so that yung magiging roots nung quadratic equation ay equal base doon sa rule natin sa taas so substitute natin yung bawat values nung a, b at c so yung a is itong 9 Yung b is itong numerical coefficient ng x which is involving itong q. So, negative 4q. So, sama nyo lahat ng katabi ng x ha, pati yung sign yung negative 4q. Then, c is 4. And then, saka nyo substitute dito sa discriminant, p squared minus 4ac. So, b squared, so negative 4q, quantity squared, minus 4, times a is 9, times c is 4, and then dapat equal sa 0, para equal yung roots. So, we have negative 4q squared is what? Negative 4q quantity squared is 16q squared, then minus 4 times 9 times 4 is what? 144, equal 0. So, masasolve natin dito yung value ng q. So, 16q squared is equal to, transpose ko na lang dito, positive 144 and then we can divide both sides by 16 so we have q squared is equal to 144 divided by 16 is 9 and then square root both sides we have q is equal to plus minus 3 okay so therefore yung value ng q na magpapa equal sa roots ng quadratic equation na to is plus minus 3. Okay? Next, we have 
for what value or values of q does 2x squared minus 6x minus q is equal to 0 have non-real complex roots? Okay, so ganun pa rin, but this time ang requirement ay dapat non-real complex roots na. So therefore, dapat yung discriminant natin na b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. Okay, so ito raw yung given natin na quadratic equation, 2x squared minus 6x minus u is equal to 0. So, list down ulit natin yung value ng a, b, at c. So, a is 2, b is negative 6, and c is negative q. And then, substitute natin dito sa inequality natin. So, b squared, so negative 6 quantity squared minus 4 times a is 2 times c, which is yung unknown, negative q, and dapat less than 0 para maging non-real complex yung roots. So, solve natin tong inequality for q. So, negative 6 quantity squared is 36 minus 4 times 2 times negative q is positive 8 q less than 0. Okay, so transpose ko dito si constant na 36. So, we have 8 q is less than negative 36 na, then divide both sides by 8, we have Q is equal to negative 36 divided by 8 is what? Negative 9 over 2. So, less than, sorry, negative 9 over 2. So, therefore, ito yung solution natin or values ng Q na magpapa non-real, non-real complex doon sa roots ng quadratic equation. So, inequality interval siya. Okay? So, pwede kayong pumili as long as Less than siya sa negative 9 over 2. Let, let's say negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, and so on. At pwede nyo rin i-check. Okay? Next, we have, for what value or values of Q does Qx squared plus 2x minus 1 equal 0 have real roots? Okay, so, this time, real roots naman. So, therefore, yung gagamitin natin condition para sa determinants, dapat positive value or greater than 0. So, b squared minus 4ac must be greater than 0 para magkaroon tayo ng real roots. So, yung given natin quadratic equation is qx squared plus 2x minus 1 equals 0. So, yung value ng a, itong q, value ng b, itong positive 2, yung c, negative 1. So, substitute natin dito sa inequality. So, we have b squared is 2. So, 2 squared minus 4 times a is q, times c is negative 1, and must be less than 0. So, solve natin itong inequality. Simplify natin. 2 squared is 4, minus 4 times q times negative 1, so parang positive 4q, less than 0. So, transpose ko dito si positive 4, magiging negative 4. So, 4q is less than negative 4. Then, divide both sides by 4. We have Q is equal to negative 1. Ah, sorry. Dapat positive pala. So, greater than 0. So, Q must be greater than negative 1. So, inequality din yung ating solution. May set of values. So, dapat si Q is greater than negative 1. Let's say, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Para maging roots nung quadratic equation natin ay real. Okay. okay, so I think that's it for this video. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.